My name is Clay Burkett and I'm running for car in Lexington County. Uh, I'm a local fellow. I live in Batesburg, Leesville. Uh, I've been a public servant in Lexington County for most of my adult life. Uh, I retired from the State Transport Police in 2006 and I'm running for car. I believe in honesty, integrity. I believe in eight hours work, eight hours pay. No free rides. Spend your money wisely. Keep an eye on everything. Do the job. Be compassionate. And do what karma is supposed to do. Basically, public service. Investigate and determine the manner and cause of death. And I believe uh, there's no way around it. You know, death is as much a part of life is living it. We're all going to die at one point in time. And uh, I hope I never have to see any of y'all in professional capacity. I hope I don't. But at uh, that time, whenever um, it comes down to it, when you have to deal with families in a, in a bereavement time, that's a, that's a really tough time. I've done it in the past. And I believe in being compassionate, being professional. Help the folks through as much as you can. Uh, I'm open for any questions. I didn't have a whole lot planned to say this morning. Uh, Ron let me know something last night. I said I can get here this morning and speak to you. I was a certified police officer for, uh, like I said, 27 years. I am a local fellow. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. What type of training do you have, or does anyone have, that assists you in determining the cause of death? You see on TV that the medical examiner always determines the cause of death. So what in South Carolina equips the coroner to determine the cause of death? Well, the coroner in South Carolina, by the determining the cause of death, you know, if, if there's an autopsy order, you're going to go to the autopsy and you're going to witness. And who actually determines the manner and cause of death, not really the manner of the cause of death, is the pathologist. I got you. And you, you witness what's going on, if there's any tissue samples, any kind of thing, if it's a, a homicide or a case that's going to be going to court, you, know, you have your chain of custody that you have to keep up with for any type of evidence that you would have. And, uh, as a law enforcement officer, I did that uh, many times, and I'm very familiar with the chain of custody. And I've witnessed uh, numerous autopsies over my career in law enforcement. That's one thing the coroners do not do in South Carolina. They do not do autopsies. I've done just as many as any other corner in South Carolina, and that's actually zero. So you actually go and and stand with the pathologist while they do the autopsy, and then they give you the report, and the report stays with you in the chain of custody, and you present it to the public. Right. I got you. Well, as far as administrative changes, um, I've studied the budget real closely. One point three million dollars budget. No, I can see 1.3. 1 1.3. It's what it is at present. I know that's back and forth uh, until they decide what's going to come up with. But um, there's a, I, like I said, I believe there's, there's some waste with vehicles. Um, I believe that we could eliminate some waste as far as the gas mileage and things. A lot of the vehicles being used are uh, police cars. And, uh, I don't see a car in the to speed 110 mile an hour to the scene when there's not, they're not going anywhere. That's one of the things that I, I believe we could save some gas. It looks like safe lives. <laughs> some folks have tried to do that, and I reckon uh, I did it for 27 yeah, years. Why they sure could, saving lives. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I saved I lives and tried to try to prevent <laughs> accidents and things like that for 27 years out on the road. Uh -huh. Right here in Lexington County. Uh -huh. I don't believe that that's a coroner's job saving lives. Uh -huh. I leave that to the Highway Patrol, Sheriff's Department, EMS. All those folks do a real good job right here in Lexington County saving lives every day. Don't dicky corners have a risk hours. Uh, yes, sir. Why? Because if you don't believe in saving lives. If you don't think in saving lives, why would they need to go out and risk somebody who's speeding that road for the wrong Um, I believe in saving lives. 
But yes, sir. But I don't believe that that's one of the coroner's primary jobs. I believe that uh, if you're out here trying to save lives, then you're neglecting your other duties as coroner. Oh, I like that place. What do you envision happening in your first 100 days of your administration? My first 100 days of administration will be getting and learning uh, the ins and outs of the office part of it, the paperwork part, uh, getting some folks in place to help serve the county uh, as efficiently as possible. I expect to have a schedule where we would rotate and I would be on call just like any other person would be on call. Do you plan on changing the employees in that office? Not all of them, no ma'am. I don't believe in going in and cleaning house, um, especially with administrative personnel. <coughs> You've got to have good folks in place from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. But then any business though, you've got to shake up your team. Sure, I agree. And that's what I said. <laughs> I, I'm not going to think like you ain't going to work in your place when you're out there. Exactly. So don't, don't hesitate to do that. You need to do that. Well, and, and I agree with you 100%. I agree with you 100%. I kind of, you know, when I was in law enforcement, I think I kind of pushed the envelope a little bit. I was involved in several shootings. Um, I thank the good Lord every day that I'm here. There was plenty of times that I didn't think I was going to go home at night. And, but I did. I, and uh, just through the grace of God that I'm here now. And uh, I've been in some really bad situations that you hear the story sometimes that uh, truth is stranger than fiction it really is uh, I can tell you some stories but I won't get into it here because I'm I can get into some storytelling sometime <laughs> just, just to make sure I understand you said you you're currently in state transport police? no sir I retired from the state transport police okay, in right. 2006 okay and so you were in I mean so what did you how long were you there then um, I went to the state transport police when Governor Campbell left office. I worked for Governor Campbell for four years okay. at the governor's mansion. And so you were in police? I've been in law enforcement for 27 years. Why don't you tell them what your history is? All right, I'll start up. When I went to law enforcement was in 1979 in Bakesburg. Okay. I worked in Bakesburg and... For the city? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. for the city of Bakesburg. Um, Worked several years with them. Uh, I moved around as a single fellow. I worked uh, several different places across the state. I moved down uh, to Calvin County Sheriff's Office. I worked there for a couple years. From there, I went to Sullivan's Island Police Department. I uh, lived in Mount Pleasant, where I met my beautiful wife of 25 years. And we moved back to Bakesburg in 86. I went back to work for Bakesburg. I was Bakesburg or Leesville? Bakesburg. <laughs> it was a, they were actually separate at the time. I mean, I was going, I'm going to get to that part of it. That's okay. <laughs> but um, I went back to Bakesburg in 86, and then I went to work for Leesville. <laughs> That's where I was fixing the day, in 88. And uh, I was became chief of police in Leesville in the latter part of 88 and stayed there until right before they combined the two towns. Then I went to work for the state. And I worked for Governor Campbell for four years, and then I went to the state transport place. Clay, before you take, before you have a, have a seat there, uh, why, don't you, why don't you tell the people how they can donate to your campaign? You're taking all donations, but not turning down any amounts. <laughs> Do you have a website? Yes, I have a website. It's www.clayburkett.com. You can do donate on the web or have my have a few cards I'll pass out. Got my address right here. You can mail me a check. Um, any amount. We, we won't turn it down. Thank you, baby. <laughs> what about this? Are you, uh, you have, I mean, that, all your information is on their email or anything? Email. Here's that. Email. Feed. Email. Um, address. Everything's on the card. Websites on the card, telephone numbers on the card. That's my number right here on my side. It's the only one I got. It's the only one I use. You can reach me at uh, any of those. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. I appreciate y'all having me.